And your daily diet could be affecting your body in an adverse way. How you can tell if you're sensitive to some foods. And here's Otis Livingston with Quick Check on Sports. New this morning, you probably heard the old adage, you are what you eat. Well, one New Jersey doctor says that's not entirely true. Alex Dennis is back now to explain. So I feel like we have a lot of these problems. If you are feeling tired, sluggish, can't lose weight, well, it may be the healthy foods in your diet causing the problem. So I'm not saying go eat all the junk food you want, but a simple blood test can show which foods, even the healthy ones, wreak havoc on your day. Tim O'Donnell is a law enforcement officer who found himself struggling with his normal routine. You know, kind of tired and sluggish, and I, I felt that my work was beginning to suffer. He's not alone. Dr. Ali Maz, clinical director of Medwell Functional Medicine in Bergen County, says he hears the same complaints far too often. Surprisingly, what's causing these symptoms may be the very thing that also fuels the body, food. Many people, they are, are under the impression when they eat, everything gets absorbed, which is a fallacy. If you eat something that your body cannot absorb, guess what happens? It goes to your bloodstream and your body cannot digest it. Which can trigger inflammation in the body, causing fatigue, weight gain, headaches, and digestion issues. How many people actually have a food sensitivity and don't even realize it? Actually, 83% of health conditions are food-related. A simple food sensitivity test can tell you everything you need to know. A prick of the finger and a scan of the blood breaks down each individual's response to 96 common foods. The test reveals an individual's delayed immune reaction to certain foods versus an allergy test, which is the immediate reaction. Food sensitivity symptoms can take three days to show, which makes it difficult to diagnose without a test. They have chicken on Monday. On Wednesday, they have migraine. They have low energy. They are fatigued. And they cannot relate their symptoms on Wednesday to what they had on Monday. Some of the common culprits, milk, eggs, butter, tomatoes, bananas, strawberries, chicken, pork, oat, barley, and rye. A lot of people consume those on a daily basis which could be the reason they're chronically ill. Which was the case for this busy mother of four who spent years trying to manage symptoms. Like everything inside of me was screaming, like something's wrong. The test indicated that she was sensitive to wheat and dairy. She immediately cut out the foods from her diet. How soon did you start to feel better? Within two days. And the same goes for McDonnell. He now has more energy and an added bonus. I lost about 25 pounds, and not to boast, I really didn't try. All huh. right, so <laughs> see what you think about that. Speak to your doctor because most insurances cover the test. All right, so I want to know, you did the test. I did, and, and I was really surprised by my results. Yogurt, strawberries, yep. and salmon. Really? What? Yeah, and I eat all of them you regularly. You love yogurt, strawberries, and salmon. <laughs> Not, together. Not together. That's why she's <laughs> miserable. <laughs> Healthier, but miserable. So miserable. I but, know, so. You know, wow. some, some people have dairy can be a killer. And the inflammation that they talked about, that yeah. is key. you got to find yeah, foods yeah. that bring But so many of those I didn't think of. So go ahead.